all right guys welcome to my channel okay uh this is the second session of the mdt okay so um not wasting my time i'm going to uh, continue with the deployment right so let's check this one out okay so i'll just go straight to my vmware okay so this is my domain controller here right so let me log in real quick for you and then here is my wds server at the same time this is my workbench over here so i'm going to minimize this all right so as you can see in the previous video we created this image in the wds server so what i did here is i created a new machine which is a test mdt1 okay so we'll be using it to test uh, i'll create a second one for the second deployment right so my network adapter i need to change it to my service network adapter okay so on the server vm settings and you can see custom is on vmnet2 so uh, that that is where i should position my test network adapter okay so custom vmnet2 okay so here now i can power up this all right so i have to press enter all right so uh you need to select uh, your image before the countdown goes to 34 so i'll come down to the light touch master pc1 64. so i'm going to wait for this to load then we'll see what's next Right, so our image is almost downloading all right so you can see windows deployment toolkit so as you can see the wizard has pop up run the deployment wizard to install a new operating system so i'm going to click on this right so we need to provide credential as administrator which is very important so we need to provide my credential so my password then my domain okay all right so you can see this is the tax we created so master pc1 select that next this is a uh, computer details so what name will i like to give to this very computer uh, after installation so do that test md one now you can if you want to join this machine to the domain uh, right now you can do that by clicking this and then providing the, the domain you want it to be joined to but this we are not going to join to the domain so uh, join to web so go for next all right so um you can see here uh, do not move user data settings so you don't have any uh, settings or data from anywhere to move to but if you have one already then you can go ahead with it but this is a new machine and this is not an old machine we are installing on who already have what an operating system okay this is a new machine we are installing so we'll go for next and you see a specified location if you want to restore user data okay that is if you want to so next all right here we need to select our language for installation the time and current uh, format okay keyboard and then we have the time settings that is if you want to change our time zone okay so we can do that right so let me just do that let me see okay 
so this I'll go for next now this is the software we uh, add to the MDT image so I'll select that you can see a specified administrative account password that is for the old local okay so we need to provide that right so do that all right okay so let me click down here now this is um the summary of what i've just done so what i have to do here is begin now in the second one that i'll be doing we'll skip some of these things okay based on the script i'll be adding right so begin so we are going to wait for this to finish and then when uh, it's done uh, we'll come back to it this will take some time so i'm going to pause the video for some time and then come back to any uh, advantage point that you need some explanation right and as you can see operating system is being installed so you see here install operating system so it's actually installing our operating system So our installation is almost done. All right, so 100%. So let's see what pop up next. All right, so our system has just restarted. All right, so you can see our pretty stuff. It's uh, getting ready. All right, so just a moment. So um, I've paused the video because this uh, actually restarted a couple of times before getting to this stage, okay? So as you can see, this might take several minutes, so uh, let's wait for installation to finish, right? So we'll leave everything to us, we'll leave everything to you guys. Then. All right, so as you can see, so my installation is done. So you can see I have here, this is the two uh, applications which I install on the master PC, okay? So if you have been following this series, this is a two application I've installed in the master PC. Right now, uh, let's see if our application which we added, okay, which is the Google browser, it is going to be installed here as well. So, okay, so you can see the application is being installed here. Okay, great. So you can see here the installation is ongoing. Okay. Alright, so you can see here Google Chrome browser is ready all right so our installation is done and is ready to complete successfully so you can see uh, during the deployment process zero error and then zero warning so there's no report for me so there was no error here so no warnings here so just click here finish so deployment is done all right so um, I'm going to do a little modification to our old image and the what uh, deploy it to what our second machine and then we'll compare it okay so let's see on my deployment server here let me this is my workbench okay and then this is my Windows Deployment Manager. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to modify the same image and then we're going to use it to uh, deploy a second machine, right? So, let me minimize this. Let me copy this uh, software here. Then, let me bring back this. This. So, I told you dot MSI uh, file extension works better than the dot exe so uh, let me load my workbench at my application I'm going to load that particular application again so new one next so we've been through here before so, so I need to copy the name of the application all right, which is a uh, booty. Okay, so that's the name. 
close this and just put the name here the name here version 0 0.78 0 0.78 so language English next so source of directory is on desktop okay so it's on a desktop next so that is the name that is going to be shown there uh, let me reduce this all right so next so here as well i need to load my script okay so i'm going to load my script here once more okay so i'm going to do that real quick all right so as you can see this is the script uh what i'll do here is uh, i will do dot uh, msi because that's the instruction and that is the name of the file so here i'm going to click on next and then this is the summary and then next okay so our second application has been added so now you can see we have got two applications right okay so now the next thing for us to do is um, let me right click this and then go properties all right so let me click on rules okay here this is where i said we can do customization right so let's see uh, i have my scripts on my raw machine so i'm going in for my scripts so let's see so uh deployment and then let me check how to all right so this is it so let me copy this and then i'm going to replace it with this entire one here great so as let me confirm that uh, admin dc1 uh no so this is a uh, let me SLP one and then let me check my domain. Okay, save copies. Okay, so the password I need to change that SLB at one. Okay, good. So you can see all these stages is going to skip all of them, right? You can see all this is going to skip them so that we'll have a smooth installation so i'll click on the windows pe and then change this to what uh, 64 okay we already done this this should be checked okay so if you are doing this for the new one so you have to check this box and then make sure it's on 64 bits and then your rules are set in there and then general it's okay to go there you go for apply okay now the next thing is for me to create what a tax right for the new uh, update that i've done so i'm going to right click tax new tax okay so what name am i going to give to my tax is going to be master pc2 so this is our second one right so i'm going to maintain uh, the same name here master pc2 so next so this default next and then which image am i applying it to you can see here i'm applying it to this very image here then next next full name uh add me so we want organization c says then if I know of any link I can add it up so next and then would I like to set password for the 
local administrator okay should we try that okay let me add that there so let me add that as well okay so that we'll compare the two right so next summary of what i've just done next and then this is done what we have to do here next is to update whatever we have done so we right click and then go for update deployment share need to update that the image so next next then we wait for this to finish and this is done finish so the next thing we have to do is load it into our deployment uh, server so minimize this bring up my deployment server so I'll go to the root image right click add then browse and uh, you can see I've done this before for the first one so I'll just select my light touch and P64 okay next I'll change the name here as well okay so Going to name it uh, as the PC2 so that we can see the difference between our two images, right? Next, then next, then next, and then we'll wait for this to upload into the WDS server. Then we can create a second machine. Deploy it onto that machine. Alright, so uh, you can see uh, the operation is complete. So, finish. So, we have an image there. So, I'm going to create a machine here, real quick. So, you can see this is the old one that we did. So, go for new. So, I'm going to do this real quick. So, it's going to be test. DT2 right so next next finish and then my network card I'm going to change it to uh, the same switch so VMNet 2 so okay so now I can power up this very machine okay so I need to press enter for that okay so you can see now our image is here so you can see this is the very uh, old one that we did so this is the new one so i'm going for the c2 so as we know this is going to be longer when loading the file so i'm going to pause the video and then come back to it right we wait for the result to pop up okay so once again run the deployment wizard to install new operating system run that okay so you need a, a credential to do this operation so i have to provide my credential and then the domain Okay. all right so you can see here i have two uh, tabs so i'm going for the second one that's a uh, master pc2 so next all right so one name would i like to give to the very machine here because uh maybe it uh, test uh, Okay. as usual maintain the group sorry the work group okay all right so you can see here i have my two applications so i'm going to select the two because we'll see whether the two install right after our installation okay so next okay so you can see 
formatting location, right? Done. So now uh, our British system will start installation very soon. Okay, so you can see our British system has started installation. So I'm going to pause the video, get to an advantage point. I'm going to come back to this, right? Okay. So stay tuned. We're going to take some sip, right? Okay, so as you can see, uh, this session we finished very quickly because we have less uh, uh, questions to answer. Not like the previous one, we need to answer uh, the keyboard layout and other stuff, right? So it's going to restart a couple of times, then continue. So, all right, at this stage, uh, I'm going to pause the video because it's going to restart a couple of times before uh, we continue. So the video and get your advantage points I'll come back to this right all right so uh, our operating system is uh, ready so we are waiting for our applications to install right so we to click yes on this Okay. So you can see the first uh, software to install is the Google Chrome, right? It may install. Okay, so you can see our Google Chrome is done installing. So now you can see the booty tool is being installed. So uh, you can see we have actually achieved this. Okay, so Let's wait for the putty to finish installation. Then we'll check. Okay, so our putty is almost done. So let's see this. So you can see putty is being installed here, right? So let's wait for the installation to finish. Done, we'll check if we have our photo image right. Let's check here. Uh, start so you can see I have what put it in store. So let's check on our uh, first machine here. Okay, so I have these three applications installed. Then we we'll click on start. You see, for this very machine, we don't have what put it in store, but for this machine, we have that. All right, so guys, uh, subscribe to the channel. Okay, leave your comments down below. Like the video. Okay, now um, I'll be bringing you more video on uh, deployments because we have Windows 11 in the house. Okay, so watch out for Windows 11 deployments. Thank you so much. See you guys.